I'm here with head coach Mike Spies of Wayne Trace. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. So how has it been getting back on the field? Uh, it's been awesome. We, uh, we had a good summer. We lifted hard in June after school was out, and then our contact days began in July. Uh, went to a few seven-on-sevens, and uh, now we're right in the middle of our two days. So we, uh, I, I feel good about where we're at so far. And what's it been like, you know, the guys getting back in the routine, the two-a-days, the grind, and getting ready for a full season? We, uh, last week, uh, we did a three-day Bluffton camp as part of our 10 contact days and uh, where we stay at Bluffton University. So uh, we got a good grasp of what this team uh, can do and uh, kind of led us right into two-a-days there uh, last week. And, and uh, right now, I would say we're ahead of schedule. Uh, we got pretty much our entire offense in and defense. Uh, they're Bluffton and, and so far with the two-a-days we've had. So uh, we're healthy right now. Uh, that's something we preach. And kids are taking care of their bodies. It's a long season. So, um, like I said, we, uh, we feel good about where we're at right now. What's it been like for your freshmen kind of coming in to their high school career? Uh, as usual, every, every fall, you know, coming from eighth grade football or junior high football into high school, it's a little more complex the way we run things uh, offensively and defensively. Um, so that learning curve is a lot longer. Um, I really appreciate freshmen and sophomores, but uh, the juniors and seniors kind of know what to expect from me. I know what they're about. And, uh, you know, their brain's just a little, a little bigger. They've been through the system. So uh, varsity-wise is quite a bit ahead of what our JV is, but, but that's expected every fall. And is that something that you preach to your seniors and your juniors to kind of take the young players under their wing and kind of develop them as you do as well? Yeah, yeah. every year um, uh, we expect a freshman kind of come in and, and uh, know a little bit, but not everything. And uh, this year's senior-junior class, you know, each, each senior class is, is – you find out what they're about early in camp. And uh, this year at our Bluffton camp and so far in two days, I couldn't ask for a better senior group. We we got eight seniors, and uh, they've taken the freshmen and uh, sophomores under the wing and uh, did an exceptional job. So. And what about your schedule that jumps out to you? I know there's always you know those matchups, especially deep in the year, that you're looking forward to, and you'll know it'll be a, a test for your team, any matchups like that? You know, we start out of the shoot with uh, – with Paulding, which is a big rival game for our county, um, you know, 127. There's what six miles separate us, so that's always a huge game. Uh, this year we travel to Paulding. Uh, you know, we expect a good contest. And week two we travel to Patrick Henry. Uh, it's a new opponent on our schedule this year. And then week three we come back home for our first ball game uh, with Crestview, which is another huge rivalry. Um, and then we we jump into a tournament or a Green Meadows Conference play. A little different this year. Holgate dropped uh, their 11-man football, so we picked up uh, a new school that we've never played. A uh, team out of Dayton will be traveling to our to our place uh, to replace Holgate. So we uh, we feel very confident. Uh, you know, we, we were we we're somewhat concerned about filling Week Eight, and uh, we were able to find a home game. Um, so we're we're excited about our schedule. Uh, we know 10 weeks is a long is a long journey, and uh, we just hope to get better each week. Excellent, Coach. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more team previews on WOSN.